So now let's change gears. We are going to get open our laptops. I want you to get a pen and a pencil, or a pen or a pencil, and a piece of paper. Mr. Go is going to come around and he'll collect our whiteboards for us. Oh, uh, Mr. Madrona, who I won know. our competition? Right here. Right here? Yep. Okay, so you guys, the table. You guys need to leave two minutes open class. Woo! Don't let me forget, because I'm going to. I forgot to eat period. Don't let me forget. We need a pencil. Piece of paper. Line, piece of paper, blank piece of paper, and your laptop. Please. Piece of paper, pencil, laptop. If you look around and see someone has their phone out, say, hey, let's put our phone away. Hey, let's put those earphones down. Right? That first activity was a fun little warm-up. Now we're going to start the real lesson. Thank you all for all those who participated in this in my story. So, the project that we'll be working on for the next couple of weeks is titled, What's Your Problem? Ms. Paris, what's your problem? <laughs> so, based on the title, what do we think the project is going to be about? Oh, what about it? How to solve it, right? Taking a look at the world around us. Who here thinks the world is perfect? I see a lot of your faces up there. And as young people, as students, we have a very unique perspective in what's wrong with the world. I think there's a lot of problems you guys face every day that adults don't see, or that adults don't care about, or that people think can't be solved. Mr. Madrano told me a pretty interesting story about why hats are, are uh, a lot of worn in school now. When I was in school, 2008, you were not allowed to wear hats. But some select students said, hey, what? Why can't we wear hats? How can we change that? And now hats are allowed in school. And you know what? The world didn't end when kids wore hats. Same thing, cell phones in school. You couldn't have your cell phone out. If you just saw it, they took it away. And now we use cell phones as tools. The world can change. And you can provide that change. By this point, we should have our pencils, pens out, blank paper, laptop. And again, please put away your phones and earphones. This whole section now is going to be a lot of question and answer. I'm going to be asking you guys to take a look at things. I need your full undivided attention, please. The goal for this project is going to be to develop an opinion on a topic with evidence by analyzing work from other authors. This means you're going to choose a topic and develop a question to solve that problem. And you're going to do research to back up that claim. If I think cell phones should be allowed in school, I can say, hey, let's just let them play with their phones. It's not a big deal. But I, Mr. Molina, am not the authority on cell phones in school. But let's say Mr. Madrano, in his college dissertation, he got his doctorate. In, self, in kids and cell phones. And he wrote a 10-page research paper about the benefits of how cell phones can be used as tools. I can reference his paper. In Mr. Madrano's dissertation, he states, kids are more inclined to do their work if they're allowed to have their cell phones, period. I can use that evidence in my claim. Because I want to make a change, I think that cell phones should be allowed in school, and I'm a, a professional or someone who's researched it that backs up my claim. That's what we'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. Down here, in smaller text, this is called a standard, a California state standard. Believe it or not, Mr. Go, Mr. Majano, and I are not allowed to teach you whatever we want. I can't teach you to play Pokemon cards for an hour and 30 minutes, unfortunately. We have bosses too, and this is how they hold us accountable. So by the end of the project, you'll be able to do the things the state requires you to do. And again, we're gonna be doing it all together. This is a quick breakdown of what the weeks are going to look like. We're going to do a re we're going to research controversial issues. 
We're going to choose a problem to solve. We'll develop an essential question. Essential question is a question you can research. Should kids be allowed to have phones in school? Essential question. Is there a wage gap between men and women? Essential question. Is, it, is the whole class in one or are you doing your own? Great question. You're going to choose your own topic. I'm going to give you some prompts. We're going to do some activities that are going to help guide our research. But you will pick a topic, something that you see in your community that can be fixed or that is wrong and you want to research. Like if I think that there are too many slow walkers in the hallway, I think there should be a lane for fast walkers and a lane for slow walkers. Is such a question can be. Should slow walkers be allowed to walk wherever they want? And I can research. <laughs> Mr. McDonald is very passionate about this experiment. So again, if Mr. Go wrote an article where he did some research, where he sent a hallway and he watched slow walkers versus fast walkers and said, hey, here's, here's what I found, I can reference his research and say, Mr. Go has three PhDs in walking and wrote a dissertation on walking. And this is what he said. That's the finding articles portion to support your opinion. I have my question. Should slow walkers have their, you know, be able to walk in their own lanes? And then my opinion is, uh, no. I think they should have their own lanes. I think anyone who walks below five miles an hour should be homeschooled so that I can get to class on time. Right? We're going to write an informative essay on the topic. In our example of slow walkers, I'm going to write a five paragraph essay with an introduction, three supporting points and a conclusion. You are going to write, at the end of this, a five paragraph essay. We're going to do it together. We're going to take you through every single step. And finally, you're going to make a presentation about your problem and its solution. You're going to be up here like me, and Mr. Go and Mr. Madrano, looking out at our class, you're going to present the solution to your problem. Everywhere. You'll be up here. And if, if you want to, why don't you use the clicker? Huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, right? Laser. Laser pointer. Uh -huh. yeah. Pretty cool. That's incentive. So this is the overview of our project. It'll take us a couple of weeks and we're gonna do it every step of the way together. Who knows who this is? Um, Mahatma Gandhi. Correct. Very famous quote, be the change you want to see in the world. As we've all established, the world is not perfect. And I think high school students and teens kind of get the short end of the stick because you get, you experience a lot of the problems but people don't really listen to teens. But you can be that change you want to see in the world. If you think that there's not enough representation for minorities in film and movies, if you think that the uh, minimum wage rate is too low, as a student right now, you can change that. And don't let anyone else take you different. We're gonna watch a quick video here about overcoming obstacles. I can even adjust the volume. Overcoming obstacles. So the reason I wanted to show you this video and why I think it's, it's you know, in line with what our project's going to be is solving problems is hard. So you can say, oh, I, you know, I wish, I wish the kids got paid more. I wish that we had you know, more time to do my homework. But I can't, I can't do anything about it. Nothing's ever going to change, right? These are not things that are getting in your way. There are things that you can overcome. We're going to talk about some pretty heavy topics. I'm going to ask you to look inside yourself and explore who you are in the world around you. And you're going to realize some things that maybe aren't so good. Those are the things you can overcome. We're going to do an activity called an iceberg activity. For this one, you ready? We're going to shift our desks and we're going to sit in rows. So let me give you like a minute. You're going to stand up and we're going to get our tables in a line. So each group is broken up into two rows. So this one right here, two separate rows. This group right here, two separate rows. This one in the back. You're going to meet them back there. And say, well, if there's an empty chair around you, please move it as well.